this cold Girl, I can't wait to see what you got on Yeah, whatever it is, I know it's hot Baby, your smile's gonna hit the spot As soon as my headlights shine on you This town ain't gonna know what to do We're tearing it up What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to put a ported fuel rail fitting. I'm going to do both the driver's side and the passenger side. Um, what that does is it allows more fuel to be able to go into your fuel rail. So when you when you throw your hammer down um, and your injectors pull fuel out of that, um, it'll drain your fuel rail pressure. So um, with hotter tunes, you typically you'll have an issue with that. Um, I'm not really having an issue. I just don't want to see one, so I'm going to end up throwing it in there. Um, but that fitting is about $30 to $40. Um, I'm actually going to take it out. I'm going to drill the factory one. I'm going to drill the hole bigger, and then I'm going to put it back in. So um, this video is going to be kind of a, it's going to be an install video for the driver's side. Um, and then I'm going to do a second part and do the passenger side. Um, and then I'm going to do a third video. I'm going to kind of curl, put them all together, um, and I'm going to do testing in between. Uh, today it's mostly sunny. It's about 55 degrees out, so... Um, I'm going to be able to do the driver's side one. I already did a couple pass with just the factory stuff in there, see if it changes anything. Um, basically, like I said, this fitting is just going to allow for more um, available fuel to be thrown in your fuel rail. So uh, without further ado, let's, uh, let's throw that in there and, and, uh, and let's get started. Alright guys, so first off, that fuel rail fitting on the driver's side is, uh, let's see if we can't get a good view of it. It's right here, right at the tip of my finger. So, um, easiest way to get to it is to pull your EAC condenser. Um, there's just four bolts on it right here. One, two, uh, three, four. Um, there's two connectors. There's one here. There's another two. Um, take those right off. Uh, just kind of set this aside. Um, and then it'll be able to give you a little bit more room. So I'm going to do that real quick. Um, I already took the serpentine belt off. Um, so let's just pull everything else out. All right, now what you're going to want to do is loosen this up right here and then do the same thing over here on the other side. Um, that is a 17 millimeter. Um, this one is pretty, was pretty easy to do. It's pretty easy to take out. Um, there's, a lot, there's a lot more room than the other side. Um, next fitting is, like I said, a little bit difficult right here. I ended up going underneath this, putting the wrench on here backwards breaking her loose. She's already loose right now. I can spin it by hand. So, and then you just pull this whole thing right out of here and we'll take this out. All right, next you want to just want to break this loose right here. Um, I already broke it loose. Um, I ended up using a breaker bar, seven eighths mil or seven eighths ratchet. And then this is a 24 inch breaker bar. Um, I was able just to get it in there just like that. And just break her loose and pull her right out and I'll show you why this fitting is so inefficient all right here's the fitting as you can see that hole is really small 
So, let's see if I can hold that up here to the sun. Yeah, you can hardly see any light coming out of that. So, we're going to make that a little bit bigger. Put that in the vise. We'll, uh, we'll drill it out with an 8 inch hole. Let's go from there and put it back in. Alright, so there's the new hole. As you can see, it's much larger. So, uh, we'll put it back in there and, uh, we'll fire up the truck and we'll take it for a ride. We'll do a couple, uh, a couple pass just to match our, the factory ones and we'll see, uh, we'll see how much she does better. So, I'll get that in there real quick. I'm not going to video that, but get it back in there and we'll go for a test drive. Alright guys, so another successful video in my opinion. Um, got back, brought it all the way up to about 21 PSI, um, which is a lot of pressure. Uh, I didn't see any leaks when I got back home. Um, seemed like the throttle response was a little bit better. Um, I didn't really think it was any faster or, or anything like that. So, um, But like I said, I did notice that it was uh, it is a lot more responsive when I look at the gas, or when I hit the gas pedal. So, um, all in all, I'll, uh, I'll wrap up this video. Don't forget to subscribe um, and hit a like on this video if you, uh, if you like this content. Um, like I said, this is the part one of, uh, of three videos I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of try to do them back to back. Um, so right now we got the driver's side um, ported fitting. And, uh, and next we'll do the passenger side. And then last week I'll, uh, I'll give you all of my results and I'll put them all in one, one clip for you guys. Um, also, I'll leave a link in the description of uh, the tools I used. Um, wasn't very many. Um, I'll also leave a link in uh, the description for Injected Motorsports. Um, Hunter is the owner. He's a great guy to deal with. Um, and they also sell ported fuel rail fittings so at a decent price. So I would definitely uh, get him if you uh, if you don't feel comfortable drilling this out. Um, I would definitely go go his route and, and grab one from him. So Or grab two because you got two fuel rails. So, all right. With that case, you guys have a good one. Catch you on the next one.